Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is the Monotropa by Reverse Landfill. So the Monotropa is a distortion unit that is developed and built almost, well, 10 kilometers away from my place. So I think that Reverse Landfill is indeed the closest Eurorack manufacturer for me. And it was quite fun to, uh, to learn that little fact and Martijn over at uh, Reverse Landfill was kind enough to lend me this unit to review it and to actually make this episode possible. So Martijn, thanks so much. Um, other than that, I would say it's a distortion unit. The most important aspect of it is of course, how easy is it to work with, but most importantly, how does it sound? Well, in order to uh, figure that out, I would say, uh, here we go. So here we have the Monotropa, up close and personal. So let's just run through these controls because they do need a bit of explanation because the icons or the, well, maybe the, the ciphers or the runes there uh, don't really um, really ex tell us the whole story there. So you've got the, well, the, the equalizer setter for the, for the base, for the mid, for the mid slash high and for high notes. So you can play with these to set your equalizer and just to well emphasize certain notes. Here you've got feedback and this is the overall volume. And then on the input side, you've got dual inputs. You've got your send and receive if you want to include another uh, effect. And you've got dual outputs there, of course, as well. So the most important thing with distortion units is, of course, how do they sound and how do they behave? So I'm going to use the owner as my source and I'm just going to sh uh, show you and let you l listen to several of the wave shapes and how they um, evolve under influence of the monotropa. So I'm going to start off with a sine wave and I'm going to grab one of the outputs and you should be able to hear nothing right now, but if I turn on the volume, you should be able to see that we have a nice sine wave that we're working with. It is already a bit distorted. That's something I really need to uh, emphasize here. So if I just let you hear the sine wave as we get it straight from the device, you see that it's a bit clearer, but not much. So there is minimal distortion if you don't have anything there yet. So then we can start to play with the equalizer. So we can really start to fatten up this sound. So start off with just a bass. As you can see, this will put that B2 that we have there that much over the rest of the, uh, of the harmonics. Then if we go for mid, you see the D5 reaching for the top. And then mid-high, you see a lot of these harmonics already appearing. And you do see the actual wave shape distorting as well. And if we then also get the high notes, you can get these beautiful sounds out of this. And then we can introduce some feedback. So, there you hear, that's where we flip the actual sound and we go a tone higher. Now I'm just going to turn the volume down a bit. If we keep it at this and we then just turn some of the equalizers down.
So from a sound design perspective, this is of course absolutely fantastic. Just listen to this. This is such a tremendously fat bass sound. I would not be surprised if you and if you can hear this ending up in any sort of EDM song or any other electronic song there as well because this is a nice fat bass and we can work with this so this is of course not the only thing you can do with this uh, distortion unit so one of the key things that they actually well try to uh, loot me to do is to try to get this to self oscillate which is of course can so let's turn everything halfway there you go self oscillation of a distortion unit and then I'm just going to grab an LFO here from chips and I'm going to pass that into the input that's fun isn't it so you actually have an LFO pitch shifting a distortion unit that's self oscillating That's fun, isn't it? So it, it obviously doesn't follow uh, fault per octave, uh, but you can do crazy things with this. Another key thing that you can of course do is, if you don't have it self oscillating, if you just pass in, let's say, a, um, a complex wave shape into it, Can then indeed send this signal to an external module let's send it to a filter so I've got this at 2040 here and let's see what that can do grab another cable there here we go and now if I change the cutoff frequency or if I turn up the resonance you'll hear the actual distortion changing and evolving crazy right I love this so I'm turning the resonance down now and I'm just turning the color frequency down as well and then turn it up Way. So another thing I can do is I can of course connect this to a VCA. So let's uh, grab the this one, grab the output from there, and then I'm going to use the same LFO we had just now to modulate the VCA. fun isn't it I see that I, I will imagine people using this in their generative patches as well just because of that that flip that you can get with this distortion unit where if you reach a, a certain threshold that you get different notes than you would uh, would expect so this is one of those crazy things with distortion and i love that i really truly love that to pieces so what i want to do to uh, to close this off is to just grab my uh, my go-to midi file and play with the distortion along the way so uh, if you allow me to repatch this real quickly i'm just going to remove these two I'm going to connect those again to the filter. So I'm going to in and out. There we go. And I'm going to grab the volt per octave. Get my 
CV. Again, the music and the uh, MIDI file courtesy of Claimers Vias Music Productions. This gives this song so much body. I truly, I truly appreciate just the the fatness of the sound. That's a bit too dirty, probably. So you can go overboard with distortion, apparently. <laughs> so that's the monotropa from reverse landfill um i would say i'm just gonna keep playing this song for a while just playing with the uh, with the dials a bit uh but i would say let's go back to the studio and wrap this up talk to you in a bit cheers So I truly hope you enjoyed this review of the Monotropa by Reverse Landfill. And again, I have to thank them for making this episode possible, of course. Um, for now, I would say, well, please, everyone, uh, like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Reverse Landfill at reverselandfill.org. If you want to uh, learn a bit more about the Monotropa or any of the other modules there, or if you want to order one of them, um, for now, I would say, well, please, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, and hope to see you next time. Cheers.